Do we all experience sounds the same way? One of the reasons sound is such a complex topic is due to the ways in which it interacts with our environment, whether that's a concert hall, a classroom, or a forest. As it radiates away from its source, the materials it encounters along the way, surfaces, objects, our bodies, change its quality as well as its direction, and give us information about not only the source, but our environment. This means that even subtle changes in position, such as rotating our heads slightly, can dramatically affect the way we experience a sound source. Once the sound does reach our ears, it passes through a complex array of materials, tissue, bone, fluid, hair, before finally becoming available for processing by the brain in the form of electricity. At this point, higher-level cognitive processes help us to make sense of the sound, what it is, where it is, and what it might mean. Ultimately, the judgments we make about sound help us make sense of our environment, but at the same time, they are also subject to what we already know. Because we are always gathering knowledge about our environment, Certain cues from the auditory stimulus that suggest impossible scenarios, for example, a sound source that seems to be in two places at once, can be overridden by higher-level cognitive processes as we integrate information.